I'm trying to think of some father-son projects that I can do with my son. I've got an eight-year-old son, Trent, and he likes working in the shop with me, but I started thinking, you know, if he had his own tools, and his own toolbox, that's the project. So we've started this project, oh, it was probably almost a year ago, and it gives us something to do. We, his attention span's kind of short, so we go in 15, 20 minute increments, but it's got something that uh, we've been working on for a long time, and let me show you where we're at. You know, I wanted to uh, do a project for my son, and uh, my son's only eight years old, so we decided to build this toolbox together. It's my idea, but he put a lot of influence into it. It's an interesting design. It's got two parts. It's got your inside toolbox here, and we built this latch into it with a couple of sliding runners. So the latch is gravity feet. So it can't come out from either side. It slides both both directions. You can open it part way to open it in front. Slide it back and it closes itself. And if it tips over, these drawers hit the handle right here so nothing falls over. Another interesting aspect of this toolbox that we're pretty proud of is we thought, let's put a flat up on the top right here because there's a lot of times that you might want to use your toolbox out in the, uh, the yard or wherever you're working and you might need to put something on top of it and kneel down and you can saw it off. So I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. And the more we thought about it, we thought, wow, you put a piece of wood on there and you've got a place to sit and take your lunch break. It was really a fun project. Uh, my son and I, we've been working on this. We, we weren't hurrying uh, doing it. it. Actually had another friend of his. It was a, a little boy that uh, same age and his father and him, we got together uh, a couple times a month for a long time. And, and each of the kids got to work on drilling holes and sanding cutting and you know we did all the power tool stuff but then we'd let them do some of the power tool stuff like the the sanding tools and the power sanders and the power uh, drill press and things like that but uh, we had this piece of wood right here that was quite a project that was about a two-day project for them we had them use the spoke shave and the draw knife and sanding it we just had a dowel put in on the side so if we need to take it out for any reason it's just a pressure fit. You can drive the dowel out and this comes out. But uh, I don't know, we uh, had a lot of fun doing it. And now we're going to spend some time um, fitting tools in there. So currently I've got some tools that I've purchased for my son. You know, a little kid size hammer, combination square, little saws that he's not going to hurt himself on yet. Not too bad anyway. Uh, coping saw. He still hasn't tried this one out. We're gonna have some fun. And then a couple of little simple tools because he's doing some nailing now. So I got him a nail set and a, one of these little power brad drivers. So that's, that's pretty much the extent of his um, collection of tools right now. Once again, close it, it locks and it doesn't go back either way. It's just a gravity lock. Very simple. I'm quite proud of it. And uh, my son Trent, uh, he's, he's very proud of it. 